alamat. Sa video ito, ating tatalakayin ang uh, solving quadratic inequalities in one variable. Ngunit bago yan, ito muna. Welcome to Mala. Legendary! 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 So, atin nang ipagpatuloy ang ating talakayan tungkol sa pagsosolve ng quadratic inequalities in one variable. So, ngunit uh, kailangan muna nating alamin or pakatandaan itong bagay na ito. So, if we have symbols such as uh, greater than or greater than or equal to, yung magiging direction ng ating mga rays later on will be in opposite direction. Ngunit, kapag less than or equal to, or less than or equal to, at uh, less than, yung magiging symbols ng ating given uh, quadratic inequalities, then yung magiging uh, trend or yung magiging direction ng mga uh, race natin would be toward each other. So, para mas maintindihan natin kung ano yung mga bagay na yan, let's have some examples. Ang pagsusolve ng quadratic inequalities in one variable ay parang nagsusolve ka lang din ng uh, quadratic equation. So, kapag hindi mo pa napanood yung mga videos tungkol sa pagsusolve ng quadratic uh, equations, mas maiging uh, panoorin mo muna yon para mas madali yung uh, pag-intindi mo sa bagay na ito. So, let's now have our example. x squared plus 2x minus 15 is greater than Zero. Okay, so we have x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. Let's equate it into 0. Ngayon, let's solve this or let's uh, write the left side of the equation as a factor of two binomials. Okay, so since it is a quadratic trinomial. Okay, so we have... Okay. So, paano tayo nagpa-factor ng uh, quadratic trinomial? So, yung factor muna ng x squared. Okay, so that is x and x. Ngayon, mag-isip ka ng factor ng uh, factors ng negative 15 na yung sum ay 2. So, that would be negative 3 at positive 5. Okay, so that would be equal to sa 0. Okay. So, after that, you're gonna equate each factor sa 0. So, x minus 3 equals 0. So, x plus 5 equals 0. Okay. So, solving further, we have x equals 3 and x equals negative 5. Ngayon, yan yung iplaplat natin doon sa ating number line. So, let's plot those numbers, those values of x sa ating number line. So, we have negative 5. Okay, so ito yung negative 5. Okay, so kung mapapansin natin, greater than. Okay, so kung ganyan yung magiging simple, op, uh, symbol, open circle or closed circle. Okay, so that is an open circle. Okay, next, how about itong 3? Okay, so ito yung Three natin. So, the same pa rin, open circle pa rin. Okay, ngayon, balik tayo dito sa bahaging ito. So, kapag ang symbol daw ay greater than or uh, greater than or equal to, yung uh, direction ng ating uh, mga ray ay opposite direction. So, hindi sila mag, magsasalubong, kundi pupunta sila sa magkabilang Panig. Okay. So, hindi sila magsasalubong na ganito, kundi they're gonna go in opposite direction. So, pag ganito yung ating mga ray. Okay. So, kung gagawa tayo ng ray. Okay. So, that would be our solution. In mathematical notation, okay, ang magiging uh, sagot natin would be, okay, kasi ang sinasabi niya, lahat ng mga nandito, Kapag sinubstitute mo dito sa inequality ito, magiging true yung, yung 
yung equate ay yung inequality tap as well as kapag ito yung mga numbers naman na nandito si substitute mo dito sa inequality then the inequality will be true so in mathematical notation our final answer would be x is what greater than or less than uh, negative 5 okay so that is less than negative 5 but greater than greater than 3 okay so that would be your final answer so let's have another example okay let's solve for the roots of this inequality okay so applying the greatest common monomial factoring we have okay so factor out natin itong x okay so x squared divided by x that is x negative 6x divided by x that is negative 6 okay so that would be equal to 0 okay so x now is equal to 0 then x minus 6 is equal to 0 so x is equal to 6 ngayon i-plot natin yan sa number line okay so we have x equals 0 okay so ito yan open circle or closed circle okay open circle next yung 6 naman so ilagay pa rin natin dito okay open circle or closed circle open circle basta wala yung or equal to niya so yung magiging circle mo kapag ay open circle so after plotting the uh, the uh, uh, values of x ngayon balik tayo dito sa bahaging ito kapag ang symbol niya ay less than or less than or equal to okay yung magiging direction ng ating mga ng race natin would be toward each other so magsasalubong so yung magiging uh, illustration would be okay ganito magsasalubong sila ibig sabihin lahat ng mga to yung 1 2 3 4 5 okay as well as yung mga point 0.1 Point two, okay, lahat ng mga nandito in between 6 and 0, when you substitute them in this inequality, magiging true yung inequality. So, mathematically speaking, okay, so x now is greater than or less than 0. Okay, mas mataas. So, greater than 0. Okay, then dito naman, mas mababa or mas mataas sa 6. Okay, mas mababa sa Okay, let's consider another example. Let's now have x square minus 4x minus 12 greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so we have, let's factor the left side of the equation. Okay, so by uh, factoring, iso solve natin yung kanyang roots. Okay, so we have x then x. Okay, think of factors of negative 12 plus sum is negative 4. Okay, so that is negative 6 plus 2 equals 0. So, equate natin each factor sa 0. x minus 6 equals 0. Then, x plus 2 equals 0. So, x equals 6 and x equals negative 2. Okay, let's now plot those values of x sa ating number line. Okay, so we have yung x natin 6. Okay. So, ilagay natin dito. Okay. Close or open circle. Okay. So, merong or equal to. Kaya, close. Next. Yung negative 2 naman. Close or open circle. Close pa rin. Kasi merong or equal to. Okay. Next. Yung trend na naman. Or yung direction ng ating rates. Okay. So, ito siya. Okay, so we have in opposite direction. So, ibig sabihin, itong negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, as well as negative 2, then 6, 7, 8, and so on and so forth, kapag sinubstitute mo dito sa ating inequality, magiging true yung ating inequality. So, mathematically speaking, x now is ano, greater than or less than na, or equal to negative 2. Okay, so... Less, 
less than or equal sa negative 2. As well as greater than or equal to positive 6. So that is how you're gonna solve for the roots of quadratic inequalities in one variable.